Stevie Wonder started life at an early age uh, under the name Steve Land Judkins. Uh, he was became blind as a result of complications of being a, a premature baby. Uh, he started learning instruments as a child and was already singing in public when in 1961 he was signed to Motown at age 11 and changed his name was changed legally at that point to Steveland Morris. But he was marketed as Little Stevie Wonder. Uh, he is uh, an active artist, a singer, songwriter, a musician, uh, a wicked harmonica player, a record producer and philanthropist. He released his first album in 1962 and his 26th in 2005. And typically of uh, many acts that have had a long career, it's, uh, his releases have slowed down in later years. He is, though, still going. He is one of the best selling acts ever and has also received critical acclaim. Hi, my name's Dan. So, this album was the 19th studio album by Stevie Wonder. And although I know a few tracks on it, I think this is the first time that I've listened to it. I'm not entirely sure. I might have heard it before. Um, and apparently, this is the start of his most commercial period, which was uh, through the 80s. So, this is obviously a 1980 album. And I would describe this as pop soul. Um, or soul-infused pop with elements of funk and potentially of jazz in here as well. So musically, it's quite rich. Uh, there's particularly there's some nice grooves at times. There are various speeds and feels, um, lots of instrument sounds being used. Uh, actually, maybe I should have categorized it as singer-songwriter because it's got that kind of variety to it, and it's definitely got to focus on the songwriting. It's quite pop and quite approachable. Um, and uh, it's obviously quite, he's quite invested musically. Um, so it doesn't have, when I say it's quite pop and it's approachable, it doesn't have the kind of manufactured feel that some pop has. It does have a feel that he is actually really interested in the music for its own sake. Um, and the, the feel of it is, is strong in that sense. Um, the, I would say the chord sequences, some of them are quite inventive as well. It's quite. Uh, it's quite nice. Um, there are some sounds, especially synth sounds and a plummy electric piano sound that sound very early 80s. Uh, but other than that, I think it stood the test of time quite well. Uh, so one song I know quite well is Master Blaster, bracket as Jammin', which is kind of a reggae uh, song and is a tribute to Bob Marley. Another one I know quite well is Happy Birthday, which is a tribute to Martin Luther King Jr. And, oh, I also know All I Do, which I don't think is a tribute to anybody at all. Um, the singing is strong. He's got quite a distinctive voice. Um, it doesn't necessarily lend itself for the words coming across uh, as clearly as they would with other singers. It's just a feature of his voice. Some voices have got better um, clarity than others in terms of the words, so occasionally I found them hard to make out. Um, the songs are about quite a variety of things. Um, um, you know, already highlighted some of the tribute ones, but I'm not going to dig into the rest. Uh, I do recognize that there's strong songwriting here, uh, but for some reason, I don't really know quite know why. I did enjoy it, but get me wrong. Um, I don't think it clicked with me as much as I think it should for the strength of the songwriting that I think it has. So I recognize it intellectually, but didn't um, kind of didn't click with me as, a, as much emotionally as maybe it could have done. Uh, so I did like it, but I don't totally love it. And maybe one of the reasons for that is that it's a little bit on the soul side for me. And as we move into the 80s, I, I do quite like Motown's soul from back in the 60s and into the 70s. And we've got all sorts of range of stuff coming through from there and disco and funk and all sorts of stuff that I do love. Um, but as we got into the 80s, soul kind of moved away from the... I wasn't quite so keen on it anymore from there on. Um, so maybe that's why, maybe not. Maybe it just didn't click with me for some reason. But still, quite a strong album, I would say. So that's what I think. I'd love to know what you think, so please do talk to me through the comments box. That's it from me for now. <laughs>